So what I'm going to do today is show you, actually let you hear the difference uh, between a few different microphones. Uh, the one I'm using right now, which I'll reveal in a little bit, um, a few different types of AirPods. Uh, I've got a few generations of AirPods here. Uh, and when I say a few, I mean all of them. I actually have the AirPods Max as well. Uh, I'll use the built-in um, microphones on my camera. Um, camera, laptop, and my camera, and uh, we'll show you the difference between the, all of them. Um, if you notice a difference in the video quality, it's because I recorded this section last and realized at the very end that I could actually up the video quality from that camera. It's a mistake, but we're here for audio. So, anyway, um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat and let me know uh, what you think and uh, I'll see if I can make a follow-up with um, a few different types of um, other microphones, um, maybe some plugged-in earbuds, etc. So, thanks for watching. For this um, test, I'm going to be using the built-in MacBook camera. Uh, this is the 2021 MacBook Pro, the M1, uh, the M1 Max, it's on the 16-inch. Um, and right now I'm using the built-in um, MacBook Pro microphone. So that's the MacBook Pro's built-in microphone. So this is still the MacBook Pro camera. However, the microphone that you're hearing is actually on a Logitech 922 uh, USB external camera that has microphones built into it. Um, here, I'll show you what it looks like. Sorry for the noise. So that's the Logitech 922 HD camera. So yet again, I'm using the MacBook Pro camera, but this is the Blue Yeti. Uh, there's a package that you can get with the Blue Yeti. It comes with a an arm that you mount to your desk. And this microphone is simply plug and play. There's no software required. You plug it in, you select it from your options, and it's ready to rock and roll. And as you can tell, it sounds fantastic. This is what I recommend. Okay, so these are first generation AirPods. Um, you can tell the difference between the microphone quality and the later subsequent generations. Still good, um, better than most microphones, but uh, they are not exactly the best. And I just wanted to put them in there for a good, comp a good comparison. Now we've moved on to the second generation AirPods. And while the case looks very similar to the first generation, uh, what the major difference is you see there's a you know, LED on the second generation. There's no LED here. That just indicates that this second generation case is wireless charging. So I can put this on a Qi pad and it will charge. Now, in a pinch, I'll use my AirPods. And these are just the third gen of AirPods. I actually also have um, AirPods Pro. And over here, give me a second. I wasn't prepped for that actually. I should probably redo this one, but I'm going to leave it in. I also have AirPods Max, and I'll test those in a second. I'll test both actually. So the third gen AirPods, this is what their, their microphone sounds like. I'll switch over to the AirPods Pro now. So now I'm using the AirPods Pro, and these have active noise cancellation. So if I activate the noise cancellation, it's hard to hear my own voice, but I can't hear anything around me. In transparency mode, I can hear my own voice, which allows me to talk naturally. Uh, there's a lot less pause. There's a lot less, there's a, uh, I have less of a tendency to slur and stop and think about what I'm saying. Um, but this is what the microphone sounds like on AirPods Pro. Now, AirPods Max aren't exactly a very popular headset. Uh, these are rather expensive. Uh, they're kind of niche, but 
they have amazing sound and they have amazing microphones. Uh, so if you have a set of these, you'll be pretty good to use them for most calls. Uh, they also have active noise cancellation, just like the AirPods Pro do. And you still have that, uh, I can't hear myself speaking and you slur what you're saying and it's kind of slows you down. But there's a transparency mode and I can hear my voice again naturally. It sounds like I'm talking to myself. Um, these are very good. Okay, so I've tested out the MacBook Pro microphone, which I'm using again. This is the Studio MacBook Pro microphone. Uh, I'm now using the Logitech 922 camera, uh, and I've tested various microphones. I've tested the AirPods 1, the first generation, the AirPods second generation, AirPods third generation, and yes, I have my name on all of them, except for the first gen, uh, as well as the AirPods Pro, and my personal favorite, the AirPods Max. Uh, as you can tell, between the first and second generation, slight variations. The second generation definitely knocks out a lot of the outside noise. You can have a conversation in a, in a crowded room, you can have a conversation in a noisy street, and the person on the other end, end, at the end of the conversation can hear every word you're saying. The first gen is a little bit cleaner, but it picks up a lot more ambient noise. Uh, the third gen are fantastic. You can have a, a long conversation on the third gen, and they won't even know that you're on wireless headphones. It just And you could be walking down the street, and they have no idea. Uh, and the same is true of the AirPods Pro. Um, your conversations will be very clear and very um, uh, easy to, uh, to hear on both ends, uh, especially with the AirPods Pro active noise cancellation, which again kind of um, trips you up. You can't hear yourself talking, but if you put them in transparency mode, it's fantastic. Uh, with the AirPods Max, the over-ear over ones, um, same is true of them. The ANC, the active noise cancellation, um, very powerful, and you won't be able to hear even your own voice um, in most situations, but uh, with transparency mode on, uh, you can hear your voice very well, and you can hear the conversation extremely well, and the, and the microphones are fantastic. Um, this laptop's built-in microphones are incredible. They are very, very well calibrated, and they pick up pretty much everything exactly the way it needs to be. Um, and the audio on, on, this mat, on this laptop, the MacBook Pro 16-inch from 2021, it's amazing. Um, that being said, my go-to setup is I listen on my AirPods 3, or Pros if I need to, I listen on those. But I use this guy. The Blue Yeti is my go-to microphone. It is an absolute workhorse and it sounds incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to that right now. All right, so to recap again, the microphone I'm recommending is this one. The one that you're hearing me talk on right now. The Yeti, the Blue Yeti. It's fantastic, sounds incredible. It has some settings and gain adjustments. Um, plug and play, there's really one of the easiest to use microphones uh, and something that gives you a, an incredible quality. Um, you saw me use AirPods first gen, AirPods third, uh, second gen, third gen, Pro, and Max. Um, again, I don't recommend that you go out and buy the Max. Those are things that um, you know you're going to buy them if, if it's not going to be a mistake. You're going to buy them because you want them. I wanted them, so I bought them. Um, but I do believe that the Pro and the third gen are something that you should consider. If you travel at all, buy the Pros. Uh, the active noise cancellation and the passive noise cancellation you get because of this silicon tip right here, these things are fantastic for um, mass transportation, on a bus, on, a, on a, uh, a train, and they're amazing on planes. You can put them right in a small pocket in your jeans. Um, in, in, if you're, you carry your purse, um, you can put them in your purse. Uh, and, and they're about the same size as the case for the third gens. Uh, I mean, they're really similar. The third gen case um, 
by default comes with um, not only wireless charging, but also MagSafe. So these can go on your MagSafe chargers and stick to your MagSafe charger. Um, I have a bedside charger and these can stick right to it. It's fantastic. Um, the pros are wireless. The second gen's case. Uh, there's two different versions, but the second gen's case that you can buy, I believe now, only comes as a wireless one. I don't believe that they sell the one that's non-wireless anymore. Uh, and again, of course, the first gen case was not wireless charging at all. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend upgrading uh, not only your microphone. This is the thing that I would recommend. Best bang for the buck. Uh, by far. Um, but also your camera. Um, as you can tell, uh, if you compare this to the, the built-in MacBook Pro, um, which is a very good camera, um, this looks, you know, way in, uh, far and above better uh, and it's just a I think like, again like a, maybe a hundred dollar camera that sits on top of the, the monitor I usually have it up a little bit higher because I have a big monitor behind my MacBook but I highly recommend that so between the camera and the microphone um, 100% bare minimum I think that you should also use AirPods don't use the built-in speakers that's annoying. Not only is it um, obnoxious for anybody you share space with um, or your neighbors, um, but it can create echoes and you can you can get some sound artifacting. Output your audio to your AirPods. Use the external microphone and an external camera. It's a few hundred bucks, but it's worth every dollar. Your customers will love it. Your partners will love it. Your coworkers will love it. And uh, it just makes you look better. So uh, just, uh, you know, my personal opinion, buy this.